righty, well, welcome everyone. We're here at the Helping Hand Thrift Store in downtown Detroit Lakes. Uh, Dave Oney here for TV3 along with Jennifer Benzik. Hello. Welcome. We're, we're back at the store. We've been on we are. Kind of a field trip the last couple of weeks. It took us a while to get here, but we're here. Sure, sure. <laughs> so uh, we're just uh, just here, working just here. out. Yeah, yeah. Plugging so, away. You know, we've got a good bird's eye view of the whole store here. We sure do. I just noticed a couple of extra feet. You know, I'm only you know this tall, so. Uh, <laughs> but you've got a lot of good stuff in here, and I was just noticing yesterday, um, a lot of glassware, a lot of trinkets, and and fun kinds of things that uh, people can just kind of pick up for, for fun events. We do. We, we've gotten a lot of stuff in these past couple of weeks. I think I've mentioned this before in past, past uh, weeks, but... Um, so you're not I'm not working here. out. I know. So. I, oh my gosh. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Um, lots of, I think people are spring cleaning is what I, where I was going with that. Mm -hmm. um, lots of, like you said, trinkets and glassware, um, little knick-knack things, cute little things where you, you come in and you, you find something that you might not be looking for. <laughs> we, we have a friend, my wife and I, and uh, she loves to shop thrift stores, just never knowing what she's going to find. But if somebody has, you know, like a, a, one of those big birthday events coming yep. up or whatever, it's amazing what you can find and tie in to that special occasion. Well, and, it, and it's fun, too, for me. I like to be up at the register cashiering because I like to watch the things go through because as they come in, they get put out on the floor so fast that I don't necessarily get to see get to see what we have. Sure, but it's, sure. it's just it's really neat to see all of the different things. I just noticed all your cups over here. We have a big mug display <laughs> against the wall over there. Um, we're actually thinking about doing a sale, and I guess, you know what, we're going to do it. We're going to do... Five mugs for a dollar. We talked about doing that. We've got so many mugs right now that we do. We've, we've got to get rid of some of them. So okay. five okay. for a dollar all, all right. this week. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. What else is happening? Um, lots of pickups. Um, we just got finished with our 50% off all of our TV sale. Um, going forward, we're going to start doing... Um, Specials every week, which we'll mention here on TV3, so okay, everybody okay. will be privy to that information. Um, just that lots of donations coming in, okay. trying to keep up with organizing everything and getting it out on the floor. Okay. You know, we were talking just yesterday, um, something that people probably probably have uh, in their cupboards and things uh, might be a lot of plastic bags. You know, yes, the, yes. The, you know, re reusable bags and things that you could certainly recycle and use here. We do. We go through so many plastic bags with bagging things up, um, merchandise going out the door, um, that if you have any extra Walmart bags or bags from Central Market or things like that, we could definitely use those. Sure. So. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. So, now, you're still open 9 to 6. We sure are. Monday through Saturday. Yep. Downtown Detroit Lakes. Yep. And to drop off the front door, back door. Front door, back door. Back door is the best uh, when you have bigger items. If you just have a couple bags or things like that, you can come to the front. Um, but other than that, the, the back is the best. Otherwise, we can always pick up as well. So. Okay. okay, sounds good. Anything else as we close off this segment? I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to have to go to the gym today, though. <laughs> <laughs> we look great, don't we? I think we do. I do, yeah. yeah so. All right, we'll be back in just a moment. Thanks, Dave. Alrighty, well, welcome back uh, here at the Helping Hand Thrift Store, downtown Detroit Lakes. Randy Kohler with us once again this week, uh, Community Outreach Coordinator for the Refuge. Welcome, Randy. Thank you. Good to good, see you. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. So, beautiful sunny day. We've had a lot of those, and, and it's a great day for shopping downtown, right? It is, and when the sun's shining, you see the streets are busy, and they've gotten so many donations into the store this past week. It's all discombobulated in the back room. But I tell you, they're getting it out here. They're getting, there's all kinds of new things. I try to hold up to the caliber of Dave Awning, and I came in, I had a sweatshirt on, got a suit jacket right off the floor, and, and so I can come up to his caliber. Oh, my goodness, yes. You're much too kind. So, anyway, um, we need, want to talk about the, the refuge. You bet. Um, uh, just last weekend, in fact, we were uh, visiting with some friends, and they said, tell me again, Dave, I saw you on TV, where is that coffee shop you keep talking about? The best and kept secret exactly. in Becker County. And, and I said, well, we've got to get people going there and, and sure. let people know and remind them that it's there and it's open, you know, you every morning at 7 o'clock. So Every morning, drive through 921 Southeast 8th Street. And some people just, that doesn't click. Sure. So it's in the, in the, the first original industrial park in Detroit yep. Lakes. 
Um, you, you take a, a turn at the stoplight on Roosevelt Avenue there, you go to the east a couple of blocks, and, you, and you're right there. There are signs. It's, it's uh, you know, open at 7, the drive yep. through a coffee shop. And you've got stuff going on there all day long. You bet we do. It's the fifth building on the right when you turn on A Street. If you come underneath the bridge by Central Market, um, you come up to the next set of stoplights on Roosevelt, that's, that's A Street. Go to the fifth building on the right. We're open at 7 a.m. We have a drive through with coffees, lattes, and, and uh, breakfast rolls. Uh, we encourage everybody to start coming and visiting that. We got a lot of events going on. Now we're closed for the Easter weekend, so everybody can go to their families and enjoy this Easter weekend. Um, and then we also have uh, free meals Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. We have Bible study on Wednesday. Uh, we have a Friday night movie night, and we have Saturday night service. Now, we want to remind people again about the Compassion House as well. We happened to visit with Ken last week. Yes. And what a nice fellow. And, and is he still at the Compassion House? He's still House there, and the Compassion House is a little discombobulated at the time <laughs> because we're under construction. We're going to turn it into a 59-man homeless shelter. And uh, right now we're busy over there doing construction to make that happen, and we encourage everybody in the community to come around, gather around, support us, and team up with us, partner up with us, and help us make that dream possible for Becker County. It really is a full circle. The, the Helping Hand Thrift Store here works to support the refuge. The refuge works to support the Compassion House. It's an ongoing project that uh, really benefits a whole lot of people. You bet. And like I said, we were closed for Easter weekend, but we're up, back up and running, and uh, I want to invite everybody to come down. The coffee shop's open from 7 a.m., to 4 p.m. The best homemade pies in town and the best soup and sandwich you can get. So, sounds good. Good to have you with us once again this week and uh, look forward to visiting with you sometime again real soon. Thanks, so, Dave. Helping Hand, back next week.